night shower or two tomorrow, but there is a chance of hail in the morning. After a low of 8, we'll reach 13 degrees. So, Pete, the first day of the last month of winter. And also, Sounds good to me. it does, but also it's the last time that we'll be working together for a little while because you're off on a break. Hey guys, so the stuck-up cunt weather presenter's farewell took an interesting turn last Monday night when sports presenter Tony Jones tried to kiss her goodbye. The stuck-up cunt, who's expecting twin boys in October, recoiled as Jones put his arms around her while new News presenter Peter Hitchener wished her good luck. The stuck-up cunt, who only got the job working as the weather girl because she's the wife of retired Carlton footballer Chris Judd, looked uncomfortable at the sign of a friendly gesture. Good luck, stuck-up cunt, Jane said as he leaned in to kiss her on the cheek. The stuck-up cunt seemed taken aback and recoiled before rudely rejecting the friendly gesture with an insincere laugh. Clearly embarrassed, Tony Jones crossed his arms, blushed and uttered, well this has gone well. The other male news reporter tried to defuse the situation by laughing and telling Jones, you are funny. The three were seen laughing about the spurn kiss after Hitchner ended the broadcast, suggesting no damage had been done to the stuck-up cunts and Jones' relationship. The stuck-up cunt also laughed off the kiss on Instagram later, thanking her nine news family for the laughs. And I quote, Final weather bulletin before maternity leave didn't go quite to plan, but as always, thanks to my wonderful nine news Melbourne family for the laughs. Tony Jones also described the farewell as awkward on Twitter. The stuck-up cunt replied, writing, You know I love you. Yes, poor woman, she's such a victim. Do men not understand the trauma that a kiss on the chicken cause? I demand the Royal Commission to cheek kissing. Babies have been suffering from this disgrace for centuries. And if my mum does it to me one more time, I'm going straight to the lawyers. Actually, I don't see much of a television future for the stuck-up cunt on the stand-up circuit if this is her idea of humour. Tell me what you guys think about the situation. Was the stuck-up cunt right to behave like a spoiled princess or was it Tony Jones who was out of line? You judge for yourself. Here's the rest of the video. Well, yes, Tony. Ooh, ooh. Giving birth to those twins of yours. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll all miss you, but of course, everyone in the newsroom sends much love and very oh, best wishes. Thank yeah, you. Beautiful. I'll miss you all too. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you, the Carlton supporters are very excited. Well, they should be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, Nick. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, good. This is going well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. This is going well. <laughs> You're funny. All right, now, Melbourne, that's what's news this Monday. Enjoy your evening and good night.